Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange, True Colors. In the last episode, Gabe died and we had his wake. A lot of hostility was happening and stuff came to kind of make sure that we were okay if we wanted to talk to her kind of thing. Which turned out we actually did it for her. We, we helped her through a tough time in dealing with Gabe's death. So we ended in that saying we may be interested in girls so that might spike a love interest with between Alex and Steph, which I think they'd be cute together. They really do. And we said we need to investigate a little bit more to see why the explosion happened at the mind of Gabe said they were going to hold off until we found Ethan, which is not the case because that's how he died. So finished chapter one, we're in chapter two, so let's see what waits for us in this town with these hostile people <laughs> being very hostile to me. Um, because What's his name? Ryan. He blames himself for Gabe's death because he cut the rope. So I guess we'll see what happens in this one. Let's just get in it, you guys. Not gonna lie, I'm freaking exhausted because I've been up since 4 a.m. So. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just mm. to get back at him? Okay, let's see. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. All events free and open to the public, silent auction. Um, you've done Haven proud today. With your hard work and positive attitudes, we made it. No. Never asked Gabe how he got this upstairs. Uh, now it's staying. I don't want to play this. I suck. Ethan? Oh, Ethan. Steph. Oh. Wait, I can go upstairs. Hold on. Can I clean it? Uh, See, uh, I can be a person. What does that do? Is there anything in here? Hmm. Look. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. Oh, One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. So sad. It's so cool you can look out the window though. Like, can you see the real world? Oh, can you even. Oh. So long, depression food. Why am I cleaning? It's a start. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lynn? Hmm. I can't do anything over here. Let's see. Not much to toast at the moment. Oh. I wonder how she's really holding up. Oh, we need to check in on her. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Oh, hey, Shushu. Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Whoa. Can I change? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Okay, do we want this one or this one? I think we want some color. We're going to go with this one. I like it. 
Um, I think that's all I can do. I can go upstairs. Oh, can I look at um, the mail? Alex, I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow at night. I love you to. I love to have you there. But no pressure, okay? You take all the time you need. Jed, Black Hole Lantern Tavern. There's no greater meeting than a meeting over drinks. Let me know if you need any groceries. I'll cover the cost. Thanks, Jed. Um, I'm so sorry. Apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up. Hmm. That's sweet. So let's go upstairs. The rooftop. I want to look. Oh, can we go over there? Can we roam around town? Oh, <gasps> yes, yes. Look how pretty. It's beautiful. Oh. I'll toss those soon. I swear. You can sit. Is that it? I thought this was going to hmm. be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. Hmm. Let's see. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? No birds today. Gabe really loved this place. Gabe was such a dad. <laughs> Got the beer and the grill. You could stay here too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll Busy. be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking... See you around, yeah. Steph. We're gonna know all about it. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. <laughs> I'm gonna learn all about these people and they're gonna be like, how the fuck do you know that? I'm a mind reader, you know. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Yeah, we used to have those. Um, you just spin them and like an optical illusion. Oh god, that scared me. Nothing. I guess let's go down. Let's sleep. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. Cougar in the area. What happened? Cantaloupe and apples. mess. We're gonna clean some more. Donuts. Things in a blanket. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Mm. 
wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. He's sweet. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. No. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Hmm. Thanks. This is your home now. For as long as you'd like. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions put any pressure on you about what to do next but you're always welcome thank you no. give him hell <laughs> he's so freaking sweet I I have no idea what to even say to him I'm so sorry. I should have saved him. I wanted to say, hey, that was terrible. You should, you shouldn't have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know I'm asking a lot. I really need to talk to you. You don't have to respond, but I wanted to tell you. Thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I'd do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I loved Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. I'm so sorry. Please let me know if I can, if there's anything I can do for you. Oh, the service at nine. I'm gonna tell you what time it is. Was that the wake? <clears throat> More? A year ago, I was ready to dish this place to keep moving, like I always do. And a year ago, Gabe was the reason I stayed, but even though he's gone now, and even though I miss him like hell, I still have reasons to stay. Thanks for showing me that, Alex. Ooh. Mm. Uh, North her mom, I guess. Riley's mom. Okay. Can I clean up? I'm seeing all that. Oh, I can go over there. Hold on. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. Oh. Let's do this. I had an incredible mom. And I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, 
She said, you're exactly what these mountains need. Aww. Bye, Mom. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. Gabe Chen, smooth criminal. Real wise guy. They must have been Aww. close. Poor Ethan. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. I wish we'd had more time. What do I put there? I don't see anything. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Okay. Let me see what we can find. Something good. I just don't know what. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. It'd have to be something pretty small, yes. Mm. <gasps> A photo? The photo? Oh, I could do the photo. That'd be a good one. That's the only thing I can grab? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, I think so. Come on. You're coming downstairs. <clears throat> um, okay, to the memory table we go. Leave. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. Let's go. It's a pickaxe. No. If I never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. God, that's gonna suck. Everywhere you look, um, it's gonna remind you of what happened. You looked at all this. Damn, no, no. Ducky. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> Hmm, I guess that's it. I can't look at that. Oh, those are the coupons. It's so messy. Yep. Here in my mouth. Can I go in the kitchen? No. Can I go back here? Oh. Bah. Oh. Who pays for their alcohol with a check? Oh, wait. Gabe? Uh, oh. Gabe. 800? Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lucan, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Mm. He Just, never cashed it. Maybe don't cash that check, like, right now. Oh, I thought maybe I could get a vibe off of him. Guess not. Ooh. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows no. away. No, don't do that. RM and TB. <laughs> I wonder who they were. They look happy together. No. Oh, so they had the kid. Huh. That's my late wife in that photo. 
Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. But these last few, they've been hard. Mm, I can imagine. Dad, they had the kid. Ryan's his kid. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. Hold on, I think there's something over here. I think Gabe had more fun at his job than anyone. <laughs> that's funny. Um, okay, I guess that's it. Let's go to the dispensary. And see Charlotte. Char, Char, I come in to console. See how you doing. Ah, <sighs> I get to venture. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. Yeah, I'm not but going there. But I have there. time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Yes. Yes. Oh. I had a new one from Steph. Oh, and go to the record store. <sighs> oh, wait. Okay. This is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh, ooh. I want to look at everything. Not sure when the words Gabe Chen Aww. and Wake will stop being weird. But now isn't it? Uh, look. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. Was it on the news? What no, is this? No one's been fired. Oh. Yet. I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Can I go down here? Oh, I can sit. Let's sit. Take it all in. Clear the head before we go. Talk to people. Um. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? Hmm. In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. So pretty. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Hmm. I've got stuff to do. Let's go. Oh, I can go this way. What's this? Boat rental? The park looks fun to explore. If Kayak. not for the paddling, kayaking would be super relaxed. The park looks fun to explore. You already said that. Can I go? Oh. You can't go that way. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. What? There's a plaque. Sorry about leveling all your mountains. Here's a bench. <laughs> Not all of them. There's some mountains over there. Look, that's cool. This is cool. In a oh. wicker man sort of way. Let's go check on Ethan. Hold on. Let's look at this. I don't think this whole town is a pagan cult, but I can't rule it out either. <gasps> Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Do you... want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay, definitely not mine. I'm here for you whenever you need me. Okay. Who are you? This is awful. He was so young. 
He must be reading about Gabe. Mm. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the Spring Festival ends with a ritual sacrifice. What? I feel like there's a lesson here about love leaving a mark on the world. But I'm not in the fucking... Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Please, I need... Oh, sorry. Uh. Cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Oh, sorry. You're fine. What? Confused. Ooh, lights. Feels so weird to be preparing for a celebration. Uh, oh. You're writing a novel? Since when? What if I die tomorrow? Just like um, that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. Okay, so I can go this way. What is this place? Right here. Nothing? That might be our feathered friend. What? Oh. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. Oh. I didn't even think you could do that. That's interesting. Let's go back to her then. Entail her. You're looking the wrong way, lady. There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. Go. No. Oh. oh. You're going the wrong way. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I no. feel so useless. I've been there. I didn't talk to him. I wasn't really sure what to say. Ugh. Gabe was too young. Just too young. Can I talk to you? Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how are you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah. That's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... When you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. <laughs> Okay. Um, is there anything over here? I probably can't go this way, can I? Tragically, <laughs> now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. Okay. It's a diner. Outfitters? Nice to know. Hipsters can survive at this altitude. There's so many people. Bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. I keep Typhon eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. Yeah, because they want can to I talk to you guys? This location gets all the patrol. Customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver. But I guarantee they're nice here. No. Okay. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. Okay. I think we looked at everything over here. I just uh, might be a good time to check out the dispensary. 
Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. So what? Anyone Where's that at? Relevant? I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. Selling property of no more than 20 acres to mining, the type in mining. Hmm. Do you want to do something together next week? Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. Uh, class? If I tell him I like him, might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Hang Jed on. Said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Shh. If I tell him I like him, we date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Dude, we hang out all day. That's cool. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Um, I don't even know where the dispensary is. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Oh, it's right Jed here. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez. Oh, sorry. Who are you? We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister. Oh, yeah. Right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. Such a small town, everybody knows everybody. Or knows of everybody. Okay, sure. Let's see what you need advice on. Boop, boop. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. Mm. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. He's a pretty insightful kid. He knows how much you're hurting, even when you try to hide it from him. I don't know what that Instead of means. trying to be strong, maybe the best thing you can do is show him that it's okay to hurt. That's really helpful, Alex. Thank you. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. Hmm. How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... 
Hmm. What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I mean... I feel like I would turn it down. Like, if they're really at fault. Obviously, they know they're at fault if they're trying to give you money for it. Right? I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call. And I'm going to prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. That's what I'm saying. I really... Of course. She's right. But I could really use that money. We can't give in. No matter how hard it is. Glass pipes are so cool. They're like... Works of art... That can also get you high. Oh my god. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. I really love Charlotte's style. Can you hear the music from the next door? <laughs> That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? <laughs> Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't mm. even leave the apartment. Hi, everyone. As you may have heard, someone very close to me has recently passed away the last few days. I've been very hard on me and Ethan, but we're doing our best to keep our heads up. So many of you have reached out with kind words to and that has meant the world. I cannot thank you enough for your support. I'll try to open the store for a few hours every afternoon, but things will probably be a little sporadic for the next few weeks. Sorry for the, any inconvenience. And thank you in advance for your patience. Your kind of neighbor, but bud tender, Charlotte. God, put some clothes on. Very Jane. I could totally paint no. that. I just don't want to. These are my kind of discounts. A little steep. Oh. Can you nice contribution, Gabe? Thousand dollars. Oh. Thousand dollars. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Both in 1919, the Qual Feather Sanatorium operated successfully until closing in 1927 under the guidance of Dr. Martin Kellogg. Over 500 influenza and tuberculosis patients were treated and cured. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. Can you go back here? Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelings? I can't reach it. These bougie dispensaries are going to put all the creepy dudes named Gene out of business. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? Hmm. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Got it? I think I've looked at everything. Can I talk to you again? 
I'm always here for you if you need anything. Um, Thanks. Leave. I'm going to the record store now. <sighs> huh? What are you looking at? Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Oh, uh, what? You can't walk through the flowers? Sorry about today. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes. We're all suffering here. Rude. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Huh. I think the trails will be closed for a while. Someone died up in the ravine a few days ago. Yeah. <sighs> well, Steph we asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. I yeah, have time. That'd be good. Is that not the record store? Oh. It's right here. What's happening? It's hearing noises. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Helpful. <laughs> Be back in five, or maybe ten, maybe fifteen. <gasps> Valkyrie. Val, I just want to be friends. <sighs> Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog, right? Mm, yeah. Golden Retriever. How could Chrissy leave me after everything we've been through together? Chrissy? Wait, isn't that the name of the found dog? Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. No. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Oh, this is a new one? Time to pay an, a visit to an old friend, Snap, or should I say an old enemy? You don't belong here, Monster Slayer. I'm not leaving here till I get answers. You won't be leaving at all. No. Where is the Sky Sword? Sword? Sword. <laughs> sky Sword. Fine, I'll tell you. The sword was last seen in the city of... Carneris, Carneris, but it's infested with were spiders. All who quest for that sword lose something dear to them. But I'm destined to save the realm with the sky sword. Good thing you won't be questing alone. All win. All win. Oh, look. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Huh. Interesting. Are you still on the phone? Thanks again. Me and Chrissy owe you one. You bet. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. Oh. Can I give you something? Oh. I just want to be friends. Can I be a friend? Can I get your toy again? No. Is that Steph's cat? Or is it kind of like a um, stray cat she took in? I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. Haven's favorite and only choice for modern rock. 
I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Mm. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Talked is maybe too strong a word. I tried. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Hmm. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Underworld? Or undead? I want Storm Rither. He looks, he looks cool. Storm Rither looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Cool, cool. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pipe. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. <laughs> Uh, fell in your character, the bard, named blank, half elf, bard, distortion field, or healing serenade, level one, health points ten. How did you meet Thanor? I guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Do I get Please give me choices. By Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free Alto? this year, so bring your friends, I'll win. bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? <laughs> Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Mm. Let's do distortion. Healing sounds kind of boring. Let's go with distortion field. How did I meet Thanor? Um, heroic or funny? Too funny. A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. Mm. Uh, oh <laughs> this LARP thing just might work. Yeah. I done. Okay, do I go see her again now? No? Where do you know? There's a flower shop? Is that all I do? So we have this. Ethan fear is so easy for your brain to turn on you. The same part of you that tells stories and makes art and gives the world order and beauty and meaning is the part where nightmares grow and sometimes those nightmares leak out. Seep into the world around you. I can still see Ethan collapsing in on himself at the edge of the ravine. So scared that he couldn't move, couldn't breathe, I reached out because I had to reach out. I submitted to his fear because I couldn't think of any other way for it. And it worked. We made it back and I collapsed on the hard, solid ground. And I kept thinking, this is who you can be if you want to be. Someone who helps people. Someone who understands. For a few seconds, everything was so clear. But then the ground wasn't solid anymore. And Gabe was gone. What, what good am I to anyone if I couldn't stop that? Thought I could hunt it. Thought I could be brave. Nothing can save you. There's nothing to save. None of it will save me. Night Warden wouldn't be afraid. I thought I could hunt the monster. Steph's sorrow. Steph's sadness was born out of love. It wasn't empty. There was dimension to it. A form of volume of loss that I couldn't step inside. And there I met a Gabe who felt much like my own, only more so an instigator, a listener, a prodder, a cheerleader, a shitster, a 
a brother, basically. It wasn't long, but it was enough to know exactly what Steph needed, the best piece of my brother I could conjure for her from thin air for just a moment. So we played foosball, and for once, Steph got to win. It was dumb and goofy and over in a flash, but it's, but in its wake, the sadness was lifted, and Gabe didn't seem to quite as gone as before. First Ethan, now Steph. I think I'm finally starting to understand this thing. Gabe was right. It is a gift to connect to someone. To feel what they are feeling. To help them. Just wish you'd been around to tell me earlier. I want to make things right. I don't want to fight. So I'll be crashing here tonight. Don't turn out the lights. Baseball champion, don't shit on my yard. I'll be crashing here tonight. Move to Denver one more game. Okay. Okay. Maybe Riley will be here. Eleanor is supposed to be here, though. Eleanor. <laughs> White roses. T Eleanor? Oh, oh my <gasps> god. Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. What? Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Uh oh. Hmm. What's wrong? She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. I have to go over here first. You have to get this close? It won't let me do anything. Huh. I'm trying to see. It won't let me do anything. Um. Oh god. They're multiplying. <gasps> That's funny. Okay. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? Oh. Uh, what? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Oh, God. Way to take the bait, Rye. Mm. You know what? what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. Hmm. Oh. What? Oh, you don't have to do that. You just do this. That's why. the heck okay time to figure out why she's afraid <laughs> all my memories, all my are, memories fading. are fading oh, I feel, I feel, feel broken. broken okay 
Um, there's something else back here. Yes. If Riley, Riley finds, finds out, out. She, uh, can't she can't find out. Find out. Mm. She's losing her memory. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. What else? I don't think that door was open before. Is there something out here? If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. Oh, wow. How does she hide all of this? At least she knows, you know. I feel, I feel broken. broken. Oh, I didn't know if I was gonna say the same thing. Oh, the doctor said I had more time, but everything, everything is becoming so out of order. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? I don't know. Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Does Riley know? You could ask her. Oh, no, no. I can't ask Riley. I wouldn't want to bother her. You could focus on something else for a bit and see if it comes back. I suppose. But I can't help feeling like it was something important. Whatever it was. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. Shooter came through the front door, yes? First. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Okay. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. This is cool. Okay, let's go open the mail. Second? Open mail? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, you... I don't know. You got the sign. Hmm. I don't see. Did you trim these flowers today? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Well, maybe she got a phone call. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Wasn't it Riley? Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness. What was the order for? Okay. Hmm. You want to put the order in, right? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Ah, uh, let's see. What was the order for? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, is that the only thing I haven't done? Wait, what, what did it be this? She was doing that. No? So, Lily's. Rush order. Mm. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Hmm. I'm paid with a check, so... The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. Hey. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. Oh, hmm. God. She doesn't remember. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Mm. Gabe's she deserved wake. to know. I... missed it. Mm. Maybe it's the one thing that she needs to know so she can tell Riley about her condition. Sorry. Hey, it's okay. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> okay. That sucked. 
But at least I told her the truth. Mm -hmm. That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. I've definitely lived in uglier places. Okay. Okay, so I need to search for Matt. Ooh. I hope it's good news. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Is that it? At least I helped her. Is it gonna be right outside? Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Don't apologize, it's been hard for all of this. Can you see her? from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe, too? It was all your fault. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. Hmm. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Something I could use. Should I look into him again? Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? Talk to Riley. Where's Riley? Have you seen Riley? Can we go over here? Nope. Um. I've been everywhere. Maybe she's around about town. Um, maybe she's back here somewhere. Oh, there you are. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. Hmm. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. Hmm. 
You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, mm. but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's I don't really think sweet. it's my place to tell her. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with mm. him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that. Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no. And that we were done. And now... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. Mm. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Like confront okay. Mac. We'll talk. We'll talk soon. Oh yeah. yeah. Whenever you want. Oh, pop friend. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I know what this means. Somewhere, there's a dog I need to pet. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> Damn. Maybe there's something around here I can use to get it open. Ooh. Open gate. into places for less. Oh, yeah. What is this? Ye, and I cannot stress this enough. Paw. Wait, what was the point of doing this? Did I do something early? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. This episode's getting long, but I need to go confront him again. You're walking into a trash can, lady. Run, run, run. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Yeah, that's it.
What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Um. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> what is wrong with him? Why are they all staring at me? Oh, that's how he feels. I don't think they're really staring at us. Hmm. Fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Go by loser. It's not fair. It's not I didn't do anything wrong. It should have been you instead. Alex? Forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? I mean, it wasn't his fault. All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. 
But Typhon. If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Did it. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. Who are we calling? I didn't expect that. Hmm. why they do it, though? Why they still do it? They knew people over there. So I don't get. It. Never found Ryan in the town. Maybe that's who we called. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. Getting better at this. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Mm. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. 
Gabe. I'm so sorry. Shoot. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. Could he have died right now? If you didn't talk him off. gorilla suit <laughs> does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool no no he chases a guy in a banana suit that guy <laughs> jumps off the cliff and into the pool okay i'm i'm sorry this is a mexican restaurant eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh well, terrible but it's gabe's favorite place <laughs> i tell you he's the oldest 12 year old i know Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? He told me. There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. Is she going to tell him about her powers? This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Um, okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. <laughs> what is happening? Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Weird. What emotion is this? What was that? <laughs> Cheese stands. That was weird. Duck. Looks like Gabe. a duck. Goose. I see it. 
It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. <laughs> Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The, the crown of? Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> Finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? I've never told anyone until now. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? <laughs> You'll need help. You don't have to. <laughs> You're stuck with me now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he's like, okay. You're welcome, I guess. She's a huggy kind of person. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. Saving your life? I guess we're even.
This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Why is she scared? Okay, you guys, this episode ended up being a really long one. We finished chapter two. Um, so next time we start up, I'm going to start chapter three. So it makes me curious why Diane, that lady in the end, why she's scared instead of happy like everybody else. We're not necessarily happy, but they had joy um, feelings. So, I don't know. Does she work for Typhon Mines? Like, does she know what happened behind it? Like, does she know that they knew they were there and they still ordered the blast? She, I think she knows something. She knows something, and I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to find out what she knows and find out who was behind the order even though they were told that there were people down there. I told you. I told you. I knew when they sent that affidavit to Charlotte that they are hiding something. They knew they were in the wrong, so they're trying to buy her. No. Mm -mm. That's not how it's going to go down. We're going to find out who it is, and you're going to pay the responsibility of your actions. That's what's going to happen. It's infuriating. You knew, you knew, and you still did it. Why? I want to know why. I need the closure. I need the closure. <sighs> that one was a long one, a good one. I hope you all liked it. Well, we'll start chapter three in the next part. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.